Okay, so are you cooped up in your home right now? Nowhere to go? You kind of bored like, man, I need to find something to watch right now. There's nothing to watch. What should I do? Bam, I got gotcha. you. I say we gonna do what we do. No matter how you move, make your move. That's how it be, though. So the fresh new anime for the spring season has begun and it is kicking off with a major BAM! And I am going to use that joke throughout this video, I don't care. The Tower of God, oh my god! A Crunchyroll original anime based on the webtoon aka Manwa Tower of God just dropped and I'm not even gonna lie, my initial reaction is I am floored! I am taken back! Because I can't believe how how insane this first episode was, the premise, everything about it. Based on it being a webtoon and a manhwa is one of the reasons why I truly believe this felt so refreshing and different. The storytelling, the way it was done is like... I've been reviewing for 10 years anime that, you know, their source material is manga and it's all made in Japan. Um, the anime, I'm not sure where it was made. I want to say it was in Japan, but it's in conjunction with Crunchyroll. So I'm not exactly sure where the anime was produced, but the source material itself being from a webtoon is from, I want to say Korea. And that's probably why, you know, the way they want to tell stories is just a bit different. The storytelling, it felt like, I'm not sure what the hell is going on going into this and going throughout the episode. Like, what the hell? It doesn't feel like the usual beats. Basically, to give you a little brief synopsis, the main character, Bam, he was originally with some chick named Rachel. Um in love absolutely through the moon for her and one day she wanted to see the stars and started basically disappearing and essentially she seemingly went to the top of the tower of god again don't quote me on that i'm a little bit still right now like whoa what the hell just happened which left bam very just distraught he he seemingly was madly in love with this woman and he wants to see her again she wanted to see the stars she was his stars and so he embarks on this journey adventure going through the tower of god trying to see her one more time let's talk about the openings and endings real quick the music oh my gosh i was like yo the opening alone incredible loved it uh the band sounded very familiar i'm not sure if that was overworld or who it was but the opening the ending um uh, the music was insane honestly the music cues throughout the episode was just great <laughs> like there's not bad things really to say about this one you want to talk about the visuals because that's something that i've seen already some people uh have been put off because the visuals look a little bit more simplistic i would compare the art style that they used for this adaptation for this anime to something more simplistic like what netflix did with the devil man crybaby anime i think there's more detail here i think there was more money put into this one than the devil man crybaby anime not that the devil man crybaby anime was bad because i absolutely love that but it seems more along the lines of that art style where they probably took back a lot of the detail to do bigger and better action pieces because boy going back to the plot when bam meets the rabbit looking dude which he is voiced by the same voice actor as jiraiya from naruto that was another plus i'm like yo you giving me a little bit of nostalgia right here with this leader or this guide seemingly protector of the tower of god being voiced by one of my all-time favorite anime characters jiraiya you got me even further now i don't know when they do an english dub who's gonna voice the english but i know the japanese is voiced by the same voice actor as jiraiya from naruto and that shit was freaking awesome as well and definitely very mysterious with this guy i don't really trust him it's like a rabbit looking dude uh with like a wand of some sort and he gives bam a test he says hey if you want to go to the top of the tower of god uh a lot of things are possible anything is possible you get up there but first you have to take a test and he says yo get inside that tank with this giant sea monster and break that black ball and You'll, you'll be golden you can you can join in on going up the tower of god so that you could eventually get your goal and bam honestly as a character so far i love the fact that uh and it's all based on love and that's something that i feel like i can identify with i i'm, I'm the type of person uh, off love i will do some crazy shit including probably get in the tank with a sea monster and i love that he feels fearless like yo word is that that's the way i'm gonna see rachel 
I'm getting in there. So he jumps in there after meeting these two, which I can't remember. I want to say one of them called herself like a princess of Jihad, or she was referring to something about, but I, I want to say she's from Jihad. And there was another dude. And pretty much it seems as though they're all on this quest to go up the Tower of God as well, because it's not only just this dude. Bam! There's a lot of people trying to go up the Tower of God. And when he jumps in the tank with the sea monster and allows the sea monster to devour him. Yes, we're talking spoilers here. I'm sorry. I have to. I, I just have to. I'm through the moon about this episode. I was like, yo, this guy, I, I, I'm loving him. He's not a coward. He's not a punk. For for his goal, you could tell that this man is willing to go the distance. Like, he already just alone was willing to, like, potentially die. Like, he let the dude, the, the monster swallow him up in order to, uh, on the inside, take him out, essentially, or hurt him. Uh, I'm like, yo, this is a fearless guy. This is what I'm expecting more of moving forward throughout this anime. I'm expecting this dude to not give a shit to do whatever it takes to get to the top of the Tower of God because he seems like he's that kind of guy. And I like that. Don't get me wrong. It's cool to see the crybaby that grows and, and becomes stronger and fearless at some given point. I also like seeing the story of the guy that he just doesn't give a shit and this seems like bam is the story of a guy that doesn't give a shit he wants what he wants he wants to see rachel one more time let him see rachel baby because he's gonna get there regardless and definitely you can see a bunch of setups in this episode for the future of the series uh when he breaks the ball tries to uh, attempt to break the ball and the spirit comes out and grants him power even though she wouldn't grant the other chick power which that was kind of funny like a little bit of humor in this because it feels very serious that's one thing like humor was very scarce in this one so if you're coming in here hoping for a little bit of comedy you're probably gonna be disappointed not much comedy but there was little hints and inklings here or there of a little joke or two whatever uh uh, definitely makes me curious in the future how many times more is he going to be able to ask that spirit to grant him power because we see later on after that test when he gets to the 400 regulars test uh that spirit wasn't coming out when he had the black sword he was like help that wasn't happening and you see that this is going to be a very serious story based on what i'm seeing thus far like shit is no joke you got people getting killed left and right in the tower of god which i'm kind of curious exactly what this all is like i'm hoping that this isn't just like some video game essentially even though if it is then so be it but uh it definitely gives me feels in a sense of like a sword out online like you know you got to go through the floors because they were talking about like oh this is a level uh floor 20 or level 20 challenge like he's not ready for that and i feel as though with this episode again things could change things could go a whole different direction it feels like this is what sword art online should have been for all the hate and everything and don't get me wrong sword art online did some cool things and all of that jazz but i feel as though the way they're taking an approach with this guy putting him through the test and it's not like he's just beasting like kirito where it's just like oh kirito knows everything he's a master of all this shit this guy's somewhat winging it but just not giving a shit and being fearless about it and this feels like wow if only sword art online would have been more like this have more of this feel more of this like you never know what the hell is going to happen i think sword art online would have been praised more because tower of god feels like sword art online uh especially the Ironcrad version kind of done right and that's a great thing oh, i just i can't get over how much i love this th this episode at the very least the first episode i don't know what the series holds for the future again i never followed the webtoon the manhua um so I, i'm not familiar with it but based on everything i've seen with the introduction to bam his quest to see rachel one more time rachel i'm kind of curious about her because we get little flashbacks of uh him and rachel when they first met and you know the relationship they had and then her just disappearing because she wanted to see the stars so bad kind of makes me look at like well damn you left this man heartbroken and distraught to go see the stars so the, your goal to see the stars was more important than his feelings just saying gotta look at every which angle and then again going back to the dry voiced rabbit dude i, I can't remember his name me me uh, i can't remember his name but that rabbit looking dude definitely going to play a very pivotal part in things again he's like the guard of the tower of god when he slays at one swipe the the sea creature that is inside of that tank and whatnot made me look at him like can I, I don't know if I can trust you on top of that, that you don't really want to give hints and shit like that to the people that are a part of this challenge, a, a part of this quest. Like, I don't know. Things could get real crazy and out of hand a, as we continue on with this one. But I got to stress right now, Tower of God based on episode one. Um, it's everything that I hoped for. Again, and I had very low expectations because I didn't know. I wasn't too familiar. I seen like a small little clipping here or there of trailers and shit. But it's looking amazing again it's the art style the greatest in the world it's more so uh, simplistic i don't know exactly if it matches up with what the webtoon did but it's again like i would 
compared to like Devil Man Cry Baby, where it was like simple art, but the animation was dope. A lot of the scenes when you know he's fighting the sea creature and when uh, he's slashing, and then when you know he's in the second half with all the regulars, which again more setups there where there's regulars, and then essentially he's like a newbie because he just started this challenge. I'm curious to see how far he's gonna go, how long it's going to take, because if he was able to beat a uh, level 20 or floor 20, stage 20, whatever you want to call it, uh, event essentially this guy could go the distance and i hope as we continue we get to see more of rachel because there are some hints and inklings of certain things like hey um it was said when he sees her again because time will have passed things might not be the same and that that definitely got me intrigued there's just a lot of mystery a lot of mystique to this one and i i see the tower of god this anime could potentially be anime of the year now i'm i i don't want to jump the, the gun because we only in april right now we're in month four of 2020 this terrible year side note but uh I, i'm seeing tower of god potentially having the distance to be something huge and continue on especially I, i'm excited that this is a crunchyroll original if crunchyroll is bringing anime like this you know adapting manhwa and webtoons and shit this could be the future and i talked about this in a previous video how i feel as though webtoons might be a big takeover as we move forward um giving competition to manga and, and you know japanese made anime and japanese intended anime um it seems as though tower of god is here to say yo things is going to change baby and yeah honestly tower of god very pleasantly surprised again like i said across the board the the music just absolutely amazing the character is very interesting and it just feels like a breath of fresh air it feels like the storytelling is different and i think a lot of people especially hardcore anime fans that you know obviously anime is mainly 99 percent of it is all straight from source material from japan or just from creators from japan the fact that this is from a different region a different place um i i think it's going to showcase a different side of storytelling that people aren't used to it doesn't feel like the same beat back and forth things feel unpredictable and again that's great that's a breath of fresh air for the anime industry i see tower of god going the distance baby i am so excited about this one but i'm definitely curious what you guys think for people that have not checked it out are you interested have you seen trailers what do you think about this is it potential for you to give it a shot or are you just like it's not based on a manga it's based from somewhere else i don't want it and for people that have seen it uh, for anime onlys what did you think of this first episode what do you think about bam uh do you think that the rabbit guy that's voiced by jiraiya you think that he's going to be like evil in the end is he the final boss or something what do you think is going on with that sword that essentially you know the ball helped him once didn't help him again in the 400 regulars challenge also what do you think about rachel what is her what, like she went to she wanted to see the stars but does that make her selfish that she abandoned uh th this guy or because her goals are so like there's just so many questions and uh for people that read the webtoon it, did it do it justice i mean i don't see how it didn't do it. unless it skipped out on a ton of stuff or rearranged or changed dramatically some things from the source material i think even people that read the webtoon could at the very least say that this was awesome <laughs> and your overall thoughts and expectations for the future of the tower of god anime i gotta say again if you want a new anime to check out you want something refreshing maybe you do like some of the sort of online-esque type of stories but those type of stuff or sort of online in general has been disappointing for you tower of god baby bam rachel this is nuts i guess quickly to throw one more thing in there if i was to kind of compare it it also gives me a little bit of a vibe very very small maybe it was somewhat inspired and in the conceptualness of it of like maybe climbing corn's tower i don't know maybe it's just because it's called tower of god or something but that was something that as i'm watching the episode i'm like yo this feels like a very very well done uh exploration of that concept or that idea and taking it to a whole new level making it darker it's not just silly goku climbing a tower is like yeah I, i'm i'm just really excited about this and uh, if you want to see me talk more about this one with episodes two and, and beyond i don't know how many episodes this has been confirmed for let me know drop me likes uh give me a little bit of inspiration to keep going because i mean it's an awesome series that doesn't necessarily mean that you guys want to see me talk about it every week but i do so show me some love show me some love but that is all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Please hit that bell uh, right there, that bell somewhere around there to get all notifications when I drop my videos. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, 
Links are in the description below. I'm from the world, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga, and I guess webtoons, for life, boy. Have an awesome day. Peace in, and for the final time, check out Tower of God. I do believe you will be pleasantly surprised, and have a blast. See you on the next one. Everything good always comes to an end. If you stab me in my back, we can never make amends. Trying to move to acceptance, hard to accept it. Mistakes like mirrors, gotta reflect it. I don't wanna fucking leave, but I gotta leave. Leave the maybes to the crazies. Maybe one day we, there I go a man's son in a subtle way. No more copies, leave without a trace. Last time, I'ma say last time. Moving on to the future, leave the memories as a pastime. Memories always feel like the worst. Deading all the past, leave it in a hearse. Sometimes I wanna lie, but I don't. Why lie when truthfully you get caught in it? Then usually it's all off and shit. Uncaught for shit. Now I'm off the shit maybe lately what i've been facing got me crazy no i can't take it yeah. maybe 